Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and Star Weekly Angelic Message for the week beginning November 29th, 2021. Before we get started, if you would like a personal reading with me, just go to my website at angelsouls444.com. If you want an Akashic Records reading instead of the more angelic message, just leave that in your submission form and I will get that to you. Also, please check out all the content I have over at gumroad.com slash angelsouls, including Archangel meditation challenges. So get on over there and check it out. So thank you guys for your patience. I am getting this up a little bit later than usual. It's been busy. <laughs> so uh, I wanted to make sure that I was completely set to sit down and do this for us. So coming into December, we have a lot of things that we've learned. We're being asked to implement what we have learned. We are being asked to let go of things that no longer serve us. We are being challenged to take a different approach. And what I'm feeling here is that I think a lot of us are ready for this. We are 100% ready. <laughs> like we're, we're like, fine, you know what? Maybe I don't feel so bad about calling off of work today, even though I've never missed a day in my life. Or you know what, maybe it is time for a new job. Maybe it is time to get what I deserve. Maybe it is time to start dating. You know, it's all of these things. Maybe it's time to start a new uh, workout routine or something like that. Maybe, hmm. Yeah, I just felt for somebody there's a rebirth of a project coming up. So this could be something that you kind of, let me move crystals. I <laughs> sit here playing with a crystal. Um, some of you, it, it, maybe it became a hobby and then you kind of let it go and now you're bringing that back. Really check our frequency levels around this time because we are making things way more difficult than they need to be. We are fighting one another. We know that um, we're <laughs> at every turn waiting for the next shoe to drop sort of thing. So. I think we're being asked to reevaluate and reset. We've been working on that for quite some time now. So it's not really anything new. But I think it can be once we kind of sign up and start doing the work <laughs> and we start letting things go and we start saying, you know what, I'm going to set boundaries or you know what, I don't have to keep these people in my life. We've talked about that before. I think a lot of really good things start to open up. Now, that does not mean that we can get lazy and nothing, you know, we don't have anything to do then, <laughs> right? Of course, we're going to have to keep growing and evolving. I have like a lovely, peaceful feeling. Now, that doesn't mean that there's going to be peace in the world, okay? There, of course, can be things going on, but I feel like we are coming to peace with our the way we're approaching our lives. Let's just leave it at that. Yeah, here we go. So we have two of, if I can hold the card, <laughs> two of Ariel. It's important to have balance. See, exactly. Working multiple jobs or projects at once, making work fun. So this is kind of finding, uh, can I say finding your stride, kind of finding your rhythm. The, yeah, I think life is going to be a huge balancing act here. It's a lot of weighing pros and cons. So that's going to mean something different to everybody who's watching, of course, but we can take a more balanced approach. You'll find that you're way more productive if you're not pushing. <laughs> and I know that because I've just discovered that myself. If I don't push, I can get a lot of things in. And you know what? For over eight years, I have like really been hard on myself to make sure that the you know, weekly is out by this time and in this date and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, you know what? This week, it just wasn't feasible. There were too many things going on. It's going to have to go up a few hours late. <laughs> and that's it. You know, it's that sort of thing. So we're learning a little bit of harmony and balance here. And that means about our opinions too. So we're not just constantly fighting each other and trying to be right. Watch our stress levels, you know, the anxiety levels, all of that. Bringing it back down to earth. Oh, yes. Three of Raphael. So... Before I even read the card, what this is, is again, it's us taking a different approach for us, you know, in our lives, right, as individuals. So there could be a new opportunity coming along. There also could be somebody who is willing to jump in and help. So there's something to celebrate here. 
it actually says reasons to celebrate <laughs> a community of friends happy announcements regarding relationships or children so this means a support system to me in the context of this energy that i'm picking up on um again i i feel like for a lot of you out there you're really hitting on some deep internal patterns now you would not have come to the spiritual community if you were not working on something unless you're one of the darker souls that come in to feed off of everybody but I think we're getting smarter and we're starting to really see those people a little bit faster. Okay, so no more false friends. So we might find that we are taking people out of our lives and saying, no, I'm not doing toxicity. No, I don't owe you anything. No, you're cruel to me, <laughs> right? I'm not going to take part in that anymore. I'm not going to be your scapegoat anymore. And now all of a sudden the energy is open and new friends potentially could be coming in for some of us. Uh, this could be, again, a new work opportunity a project or just a chance to have more fun maybe you're taking a break this week yeah not not forcing ourselves to stick to such a hectic schedule enjoying yeah because didn't this card say making work fun yeah this one this two of Ariel says making work fun so whatever we have going on enjoying this time of year okay and not, please don't take it out on your kids. Please stop barking at the children and yelling at them and what have you. Nobody needs it. Don't transfer your stress onto your kids, right? Okay, so then we have the Emperor, which has number four on it here. Archangel Uriel. Okay, so already I feel like this is strength. This is solar plexus. This is... Um, Uriel is associated with different chakras. <laughs> so, well, you know, however you associate... Archangel Oriole, but I feel like this is like strength and wisdom. So you're coming to some deep realization about yourself and your place within this world. Now that sounds really grandiose, doesn't it? <laughs> but you might have a realization of, you know what, I'm not perfect. You know what, I have these patterns. You know what, I pick the wrong love partners all the time. You know what, I was too hard on that person. You know what, I shut the door on that and I, it was out of my own fear. I don't know what would have become of that that sort of thing. Or um, I haven't allowed myself to go and have the career. I gotta watch my curls on my sweaters. They they stick and then they stick out. <laughs> it's a whole thing. Anyway, what are you gonna do? Uh, so this is getting your power back, okay? Regaining your power and your sense of self uh, and not playing small anymore, but not going out there bursting out in an ego egotistical way either. All right, so we have the emperor. Uh, stability and efficiency, taking charge of a situation, ambitious plans. See, again, it's like I'm going to go back and take that back up or I'm going to take charge of my own life and I'm not going to allow people to make me feel guilty for wanting to go down the path that I want to go down. I'm going to tell you right now, as far as big, big changes, big announcements, big discoveries, um, there's going to be a lot of things in the news, okay? <laughs> and I'm saying expect the unexpected. I mean, just <laughs> I can't even land on one thing. <laughs> There's all these crazy things that keep popping up. All right, so we have decision, Archangel Jophael. So Jophael is all about the crown chakra. Again, wisdom, beauty. And again, this idea of enjoy what you are doing as you do it. Even if you're cleaning, even if you have, have to run errands. Enjoy the day. If the sky is blue, look at how pretty the blue sky is. You know what I'm saying? Like really, um, it's about not stressing ourselves out even more. Yeah, and finding the beauty in everything that we are doing. So it says, release yourself from that which holds you back. A need to detox, unnecessary worry based on a lack of self-confidence. That's what we're saying over here. I'm getting our strength back. So when we commit to what we want. We commit to a way of life. We're committing to the next chapter. Things can start opening up for us. Yeah, this, I don't think you're gonna be able to see it, but there's like a cage on there and there are birds coming out of it. She's opened the door of the cage. And I think that's how we feel. Now, immediately people get very cerebral about this and they say, well, yeah, because of all the stuff that went on in 2020, you know, yeah, of course we were, I'm not saying that there's not something to that, but I'm just saying like, that's not the only thing that they're talking about here. How do we imprison ourselves? How do we hold ourselves back? 
That's what we're looking at now, okay? And now that is your chance at freedom, okay? You have to take accountability for your own life. That's what it boils down to. We all need to take accountability. If I'm not accomplishing something, why is that? It's not everybody else's fault, right? How can we step up for ourselves? Okay, let's see what else we have. All right. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Here we go. First quarter moon in Pisces. Honor your feelings. That's interesting because, see, again, we might be living by old standards, right? Like there was always this expectation with at least people my age, the older generation from my generation, there's this expectation that you get married, you have kids, you study something in college, you go get a job in that industry and you stay there forever. And that's it. <laughs> right? And then my generation comes along and says, is that really necessary? Do we have to do that? Do we have to get married at the age of 18? Can we go live our lives a little bit? Do we have to get married at all? You know, so it's that kind of thing. We're really evaluate what is right for you and what is conditioning from outside of you. Now, again, this is not encouraging us to sit here and go, it's this generation's fault that this, this, this. It's that person's fault because I feel this way. We all need to take accountability for how we are. All right. So sit with that this week. See what comes up for each of you. Comment down below. And of course, as always, I'm sending you all so much love and take care. <laughs>